What's going on, everybody? We are back here looking at Dynasty Football at the 103 in the rookie mock or the rookie draft, the 2023 rookie draft, the 103 pick. You guys know who I'm joined by, uh, Brian, Dad. How's it going? How you doing? Um, good, good. Ready to get into this. The 103, um, you know, we have a video out on the, on the 102. Not a whole lot's probably going to change in super flex leagues, I would say. Um, if we assume Bijan's gone and, um, I don't know, Bryce Young or CJ Stroud, are you just, for you guys, the 103, are you just taking either Bryce Young or CJ Stroud? Which one is still there? I, I think I would start considering Anthony Richardson. Um, you know, I have to see what team he ends up on and, um, you know, and I know he might not have a very good rookie year, but um, we know that that guy's pretty special athletically, you know, and um, you can see it. I, I would. Um, yeah. One thing uh, I didn't. Or, sorry. Were you still going dad? No, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, uh, one thing I didn't really mention um, about uh, – well, we didn't really talk about, like, pick trading and stuff like that. We talked a little bit about uh, in our 101 video as far as, like, you know, if you're not ready for Bijan, like, you know, maybe look to trade out or whatever. But, I mean, there's all there's always the possibility, too, that you got this pick in a trade and, you know, the team just thought they were way better, you know, things didn't go their way, and you ended up getting – and like it, it, it only almost as if it's a, a little bit of like a bonus pick kind of thing. And it's like, well, um, I definitely could see uh, Anthony Richardson going here or at the 102 if it's like kind of like your bonus pick. Because if you could just stash him for a year, if you really don't need him, um, like that could be a t that's a total like upside like uh, move kind of a thing. But it's kind of interesting the idea of like not taking uh, Stroud or Young as your first quarterback or as your second quarterback. Like, I, th I think it's kind of uh, something to think about. Food for thought. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm probably. Um, yeah, I think I'm taking. I hope Bryce Young's there because that's my my QB one. But I, I would probably take Stroud if he was there as well. Um, don't really see. Uh, room for taking another position besides a quarterback here um, unless you're just absolutely loaded with quarterbacks so um does it change much for for uh non-super flex one quarterback leagues i mean let's say Bijan and um jameer gibbs are gone are you taking a wide receiver let's say you're let's say you got two good quarterbacks or you're okay at quarterback um are you taking um uh, running back here, or are you taking like your top receiver? I think honestly, if it, if it was a one quarterback league, um, and I was set at quarterback, no, well, depending on again, it's always on the team need, but in terms of like what you think you need, but I mean, I think uh, Richardson is actually like a really good like upside play there. Also, like you could be kind of uh, securing your future a little bit, and I mean, just look at like. You know, think about what you could get for uh, Trevor Lawrence or Joe Burrow now. You know, so you see what, like, these kind of guys uh, can kind of, like, turn into. Or, you know, Herbert just a few years ago. I'm not saying that Richardson's going to turn into, like, as valuable as them. But, like, you see what the – if you hit the lotto with uh, with a pick like that, what they can turn into. So, I think him or even one of the other quarterbacks is still a good move, even in a, in a one-quarterback league, unless you feel really strongly about uh, mm -hmm. one of the receivers in particular. Okay. Dad, what about you? 103, uh, Bijan's gone. Jameer Gibbs is gone. You're good at quarterback. You taking, uh, another running back or are you taking the top receiver? Uh, I'd probably look wide receiver at this point. There's, mm -hmm. there's a couple of them in mind. I think, I think 104 is a little, a little high for him, but, you know, based on the the scenario, the situation that you just described, yeah, I don't think I'd have a a, a big problem looking at a wide receiver there. Mm -hmm. But you know, it doesn't hurt to draft guys and and 
just because you're not going to play them doesn't mean you can't trade them for something else, you know? So Yeah. No, for sure. Sure, you can always trade. Speaking of trades, good little segue into going over some trades that have happened for the 103. Um, straight up, the 103 in a super flex league for Alave. Are you doing it? Bad. Um, wow, Alave. Yeah, I, I think, um, probably not. I, uh, I need that sweetener again. I okay. need something else. Um, even though Alave is young and, and everything else, and, um, it's just, um, yeah, yep. I think Fair I need enough. more. Brian? Yeah, no, I'm not doing it. Um, I think the the quarterback that you could get there, it's very, like in super flex, is, they're just too valuable. Non super flex, uh, yeah, I would do it. Yeah, I uh, non super flex. I'm not even sure if I do it, but I, I agree about super flex. The quarterbacks are valuable, even if you don't need quarterbacks. Like, don't always just draft for need. Think about what you can trade that guy for, or one of your other players for. Um, quarterbacks are much more valuable. So what about the 103 for the 110 and a 2024 first, Ryan? What do you think about that? Um, no, I don't I don't know if I like that at all. I mean, you're definitely putting yourself out of contention. You said the 110 and a first next year? Yes. I, I think one of the – something important to kind of think about is – so if the person has the 110, if they actually earned that 110, that means they were a very strong contender. Um, and so you're basically giving them another like top tier player and your your first round pick next year is likely going to be bad as well. When I say bad, I mean like at the end of the first round. So it's like too late first for the 103 this year in a year with good quarterbacks. Uh, good quarterback prospects, like you got to take the quarterback there. It's, it's like you're gonna need. I think you're. I think that it's not even really close, honestly. That you're just moving way too far back. But but next year's draft class is always better than this year's. That's kind of how it goes. No, I, I agree with you. I agree with you there. Um, but people do always feel like next year's draft class. Next, it's always next year, right? That's great, Dad. What do you, what do you think about that one? So again. Um, you're trading the 103, you're getting the 110, and then you're getting a 2024 first round pick. Um, yeah, that 2024, you don't know where it's going to fit in the first round. And, um, you know, I need to do, I think, um, I think you're giving up something, something a little too valuable and not getting enough back. So, you know, not a, you're only getting. 70 cents on your dollar here <laughs> it, it's it's kind of funny and i know we haven't really like talked too specifically about our own league but i mean that's basically uh i, I don't know do we not want to like bring this up or i guess yeah, it's go like a good it. example i mean that 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 trade basically happened in our startup this last year um i traded the the 102 just to someone for the 107 i think it was the 107 it, this is only a 10 team league and it's super flex. So, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I got the 107 and his first this year, which turned out to be the 104. So mm -hmm. that, that like, made it a little bit better because it was the 104. And we're still all kind of, like, figuring this out, like, as we go. But it's kind of funny, like, hearing that trade now, it's kind of like, no, nah, I don't think I would do that, even though I did accept that trade, like, yeah, just a year ago. Yeah, yeah. I agree with your logic, Brian, about you know, most likely that 2024 first is going to be a late round pick as well. So it's like too late first round picks for the 103 isn't worth it. Um, one more for Superflex and, and picks about the 103 and you get the 106 and um, the first, you get the 201. This is a 12 team league. So you get the 106 and the 201. Dad. Do you like that? 106 and 201 for 103. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think. Yeah, I think you know that might be okay. I think I'd be all right. You know, I kind of, kind of hesitate. 
be nice to have um, players in mind at the 106 and the 201. You know, we're talking 12 team, 12, uh, 12 team league. So, yeah, I think I would, I, I would do that. Yeah, um, I'd imagine. So, if, I'd imagine if you had the 103, then you, then I'm assuming you have the 203 also. So, at that point, you would have the 106, the 201, and the 203. Maybe you could package those two, uh, those two second round picks and move up a little bit. Like, even if you're only moving up to like eight or nine, it's like so you're basically getting the sixth and the eighth pick or the sixth mm-hmm. and the eighth, ninth pick maybe for the three. Um, yeah, it's tough to do in super flex, but I mean, I think you could easily use that that second round, that early second round pick on mm-hmm. one of the not top five or not top four uh, quarterbacks and still get a good player at 106. Um, yeah. So I I like it. Uh, it I'd, I'd really have to have a, a pretty good conviction on who I wanted at 103. As far as my quarterback is, I'd have to have two of them in mind where it's like, I'm totally 100% okay getting either one of these guys over. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, like a like a like a Jackson Smith and Jigba plus a Hendon Hooker or something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's um, I think six the six pick you're still um in that that tier break hasn't happened yet, and and in a super flex you realistically you could get at the one hundred six you could still get the maybe the best receiver in the draft right. or Jameer Gibbs if it be, you know four quarterbacks go, which I don't think is crazy to think. Um, so I, I still like the 106 and then picking up a 201, not bad. If, yeah. if you really need a quarterback, obviously the 103, you want to have your pick of, of basically the litter. But um, I, yeah. I think uh, you should try and figure out, well, I mean, it might not be possible, but I mean, if you could get Will Levis at six, um, plus you have that extra uh, early second, it's like, I mean, that's, I think that's a good deal right there you know it it all depends on who's going to be there and you're not going to know who's going to be there you just have to figure out your connection yeah like you said you can get probably you know like either will levis uh your favorite receiver or jameer gibbs at 106 like one of those guys kind of has to be there yeah so if you're okay with getting one of those guys plus an early second for whoever richardson yeah 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 definitely yeah or Yeah. yeah richardson levis you know, one of those top four quarterbacks, uh, the the second, the RB two, or the whoever your wide receiver one is, like you're gonna get one of those guaranteed. So, yeah, for sure. Um, we'll do a couple um, uh, non superflex one quarterback leagues, and then to finish up, um, Dad, would you trade the 103 for Leonard Fournette and Najee Harris? Oh, sorry, uh, no. Oh, no, no, wait, hang on, sorry. Oh, okay, well, <laughs> just answered that. It's actually the 103 and Fournette for Najee Harris. Um, no. Okay. I mean, so it's basically the 103 for Najee Harris, right? Yeah, like, I mean, we still get I, I know. We saw Fournette, like, he didn't, I don't know. We, we just don't know where he's going to be. I mean, as of this point, it's kind of like he's like a nothing asset. He, I mean, I'm not quite cutting him yet, but. Well, let me, let me ask you this. So let's say this is during the draft. And Bijan and Jameer Gibbs are gone. Would you, or or Bijan and the top receiver is gone? Do you think Najee's better than Jameer Gibbs? Do you think Najee's better than, you know, the the first or second receiver? I if think you he's, do. Then he's that means better. Not a bad trade. Yeah, yeah. I, I think he's better in terms of like we've seen it. Like we know what his role is going to be, or we have a really good idea of what it's going to be. And um, we're just going to have to try and see. Like if, uh, what Jameer Gibbs like where he goes and like where he ends up. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, looks like we have time for one more. Uh, let's do how about the one hundred and three, and you get to the one hundred and six and Calvin Ridley in a one quarterback league. Dad, one hundred and six and Calvin Ridley, Ridley for the one hundred and three. No. I don't mind the 106, but um, I'm sorry, Ridley's kind of been out of the picture for almost two years. I mean, you know, I know he played 
the year before. He didn't play last year because he was suspended, of course. So, but you know, he kind of had some problems. Um, you know, we do know, we do know he's produced on the field with Atlanta. You know, when when Matt Ryan was there and the offense was good and stuff like that. There was a there's a lot. Um, Jacksonville already has two starting receivers and established tight end and a running back. So where does Calvin Ridley fit into Jacksonville's offense? I don't see it. So the answer is no. Okay. Brian, what are you doing? Taking that? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think it's borderline. Um, I, I kind of like the idea of uh, Calvin Ridley in Jacksonville. Um I, I don't know if he'll ever be as good as what he was. And it's, I mean, we saw what one like great year from him, like one actual total year um, with spurts in between. I could be wrong about that. I don't know. It seems like, yeah, we I haven't mean, seen him forever. So, yeah, I mean, he had a, his rookie year, he had 800 yards and 10 touchdowns. And then his second year, nine, almost oh, nine, 850 and seven. And then he had his big year. So, yeah. So yeah, um, um, yeah. I, don't know. I would I would strongly consider it, honestly. Like, um, I I think I'd be okay with that if uh, if I felt like I needed a little bit more help. I, I think it's I don't think that's a bad trade down. Um, mm -hmm. Go down three spots and get Ridley. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It is non super flex, so you could have a lot of receivers and running backs gone by the one hundred six. But um, yeah, I don't think it's a Terrible trade. I think I'd be open to it, for sure. But um, we will finish up there. We appreciate it. I just checked. We're four subscribers away from 100, which will be an exciting little milestone. So if you're watching this not subscribed, please subscribe. Like the video. We'll be back with the 104.